<laughs> and I will of course also test this device on friends. It's a sketchy idea, but that's what it's all about. On Chris Virus. Welcome to Chris Virus. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, another chance to push hard. And the topic for this vlog is the first baby Tesla experiment this is gonna be wild so let's get it by the way all stupid experiments right here watch them all but before we get started love goes out to all my subscribers thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max so let me try to get back with a sweet sweet video please pray for me i don't want to die today i don't want to die in this vlog ah but i'm so excited this is probably the first out of many tesla videos i plan on building my own tesla a tiny one to start off with and then a massive one anyway so this baby right here, this mini Tesla, this is from my granddad. He built it. He built two Teslas, this tiny one and a somewhat larger one. He hasn't used them in, in, in many years. So when we tried to reactivate it, it took us a, quite a while. Well, it took him quite a while. I, I'm useless. Literally, I have no idea. All of this is still super new to me. I will try my best to be as cautious as possible. But yeah, reactivating it. Ah, oh, this nimmt mehr auf. Ja, das nimmt mehr wie 5 Ampere auf. Mehr wie 10 Ampere. Ja, ja, das ist die 10 Spuren. Ah, das nimmt schon wenig auf. Das nimmt so gar nicht mehr am Pferd auf. Ja. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's do this. I am excitedly scared. Is that even core English skills? Okay, so I don't know what exactly is broken. Maybe like one of these diodes. So I cannot use this part right here. I have to use the diodes from this actually. Let's get a better look. So this is the baby Tesla, the mini Tesla. And as I said, these are the diodes. One of them is broken. I don't know, maybe more than that. I, I don't know, but the capacitors still work spark gap right here big coil small coil and of course this top thingy right here it's actually another capacitor this thing right here this is the source it's a spark plug from a car not a spark plug you know what i mean it's a spark candle that's not the word that was ridiculous i'm sorry for that and these diodes they are still intact so i have to use these this is well electronics to give this a frequency basically my vocabulary is lacking so bad this is the power supply for this power supply <laughs> this is also from my granddad shout out to my granddad man this guy hooks me up with the best stuff and i can dial in exactly what i need and i will need 12 volts and let's go from there so he took the red one to this side and from here to there okay let's get some cables two cables right here from here to there i even brought a second one these are probably very thin i don't know if this makes sense or not but hey here we go with the second one i think i'm ready oh it's on you i it's making a weird noise, but it's not... Oh, what the heck am I doing? I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I put the cables on the 
on the other end of the diodes. That is, of course, not how it's supposed to be. They need to go on the spark plug, of course. Okay, now we're talking. Easy as that. It is apparently as easy as that. Let me restart the recording because one never knows what high voltage will do to camera equipment. I don't want to lose the video. Hell yeah. Okay, this is easier than expected. This is so cool. I should open up a window. Mmm, ozone. Wow, this is a strong smell. It's not that loud, thankfully. Well, in the end, it is a baby Tesla. Ah, this is awesome. I still should watch every step, but I think this is not that dangerous. I shouldn't underestimate it. It's super dangerous. Oh my God. Wow. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, that's bad, I guess. Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so glad that this is on video. My neighbor just came. <laughs> oh my god, I got kind of scared. It was scary. <laughs> this is so cool. Let's get a close up of the insanity. Oh wow, it's it is pitch black, even for the camera. Wow, this is so cool. Ah! Ah! <laughs> So I think I shouldn't do that, probably not good, but it's just looking so cool. And so far the camera is surviving. Let's go. I just realized that the polarizer is on max. Would that make any difference? Let's find out. And on zero. Anyways, this was just supposed to be a initial test, getting it started, kind of. Next up, I will test various luminous objects. UVA, UVB, black light, this stuff. Another very interesting question is, will this thing actually work with a tiny high voltage generator? You know, these Chinese ones. And I will also get to this question. And funny enough, I got the same question in a recent comment. I hope this guy will see this video because I will actually substitute the spark thingy with this little high voltage generator. But actually, it's only using one and a half amps and 12 volts. That's like 15 watts, right? And if I use a little one with six volts and two amps, then that's like 12 watts. So it's not that big of a difference. So this might actually work. This would be, this would be crazy. And you can find the vlog right here. And I will of course also test this device on friends. I hopefully won't kill any one of them. It's a sketchy idea, but that's what it's all about. On Chris Virus. Welcome to Chris Virus. So yeah, stay tuned for more Tesla videos. Oh yeah, and as I said, I also plan on building my own Tesla. Actually, with my dad because he is a genius when he gets to that literally we, we're going to calculate everything we talked about that a few days ago and he literally blew my mind it's gonna be good but yeah that's enough progress for today smash the like button the way little sparks might smash the proper function of your heart if you go overboard with it what the heck bang the bell like crap pa, to never miss stupid experiments check the recent news on chrisviral.com and yeah that's it for today i will see you tomorrow